What is up, my friends? My name is Echo, and welcome back to the channel, where today we're talking about these pop-up events that kind of happen inside of Diablo Immortal, and we're going to be focusing on the Haunted Carriage. This is an event that goes on inside of the game that I, through multiple playthroughs, didn't run into, or at least didn't get to in the proper time when I was supposed to, but... When I was playing in the playthrough that you're about to witness, I did get to engage with the Haunted Carriage. We got to take it down. So I wanted to share that experience with you inside of today's video. What you're gonna be watching is a clip of the live stream where I did interact with that Haunted Carriage. And I believe I was playing with my good friend Nemo from the Scrappy Academy YouTube channel. Make sure you check him out. But I wanna remind you guys, before we get into that footage, first of all, make sure you sub the channel, guys, because we got daily Diablo Immortal videos for you, and a lot of stuff is coming really soon. In addition to that, we're live streaming multiple days a week over on Twitch, so make sure you come through there so we can hang out, play either Diablo Immortal together, analyze footage of Diablo Immortal, or play other mobile games as a family. I'll see you guys over there. Win the battle. This is gonna be fun. Ugh, wanted carriage. You say beta is coming, Scott? Why do you say that? So what we're doing right now is we're pathing to the um, the carriage. Five minutes later. Defeat the undead guards. Remember, we are on hell one now. We're not on normal. Everything gets a lot harder. No, you, this game, you can auto-path. Because, like, look at this. It's literally across the entire map. So, you're able to auto-path. There's no auto-battle at all, though. You obviously... I, I mean, I could turn it off, but I don't want to sit here and run myself across the entire map. 20 minutes later. When you have long distances to go like this, auto-pathing is just awesome. Plus, you don't get lost. A few moments later. Okay, I see it. Battle will begin. You lack understanding, among other things. I don't know how big this battle is. I've never done it. We have our super. That was some brutal uh, 21 kills right there. That was cool. I hope so too, Jesse. I hope so too. Hey, Dusky, what's up, man? What am I doing? It like changed me. Oh, that was one of my, uh, one of my quests, bounty boards. Did we, did we do it? Take all the XP we can grab. Well, I guess I just have to follow this card around and then beat it up. Now we have to pause for one second here, guys, and first of all, ask you, are you enjoying this type of event? Do you like pop-up events inside of Diablo Immortal? Now you could answer that in the comments below, 
or you can come through my Discord server where we have a community that we are building for mobile games and for Diablo Immortal. I'll be waiting for you guys to come on through, so come on through. It's linked down below is the pinned comment. All right, so very different gameplay style you're about to witness. Me and Nemo are both stay back kind of characters. So we need to be careful that we don't like get too big into the battle. Still recharging. Wow. Jeez, this is gonna be hard. Leviathan is a vampire. I know. Man doesn't sleep. Got him. All right. Yo, what up, Robert? Yep. He is up there in Paragon. He's only been main he's only been using one character though. Not that it takes anything away from him. Level 113 Paragon's insane. But I know Nemo and I we focused on just getting our hands on all the all the heroes. See how they all feel. He loves that wizard. I do not. It shows it's each their own with the game, right? I started watching Cobra Kai again, guys. Nine Ball told me it came out. I'm watching it. Here we go. We got more. We're actually doing pretty pretty all right. Very different gameplay style with the range, which isn't bad. Gives you guys a different look. Got it. Still recharging. No. Let's run our way there. Hopefully I don't encounter too many. Oh, there won't be any enemies actually. It'll just give me the chance to clean up all the gold. No, the next alpha or beta has not been announced. 
No, you can't spend money on the alpha, buddy. There's no way to buy anything in game. It's just a test. This whole everything that we've actually done here is gonna be wiped and gone. You guys get those spam calls all the time. All the time. A little lag there. Alright, we got it. What do we get? Lowe's focused gaze, mocking laughter. Ah, oh, mocking laughter. So we have the campaign, the massive multiplayer online world. We have Elder Rifts, Challenge Rifts. We saw a little bit of PVP with a lot more to come for Diablo Immortal. And we have these type of pop-up events, secret things that happen inside of the game, giving you rewards and just adding another level of fun to the Diablo experience. Let me know, out of all of the things that I just mentioned, which ones are you most excited about? Which which of these features are going to make Diablo Immortal thrive above all other games? Is it going to be the campaign, the massive world? Is it going to be the rift running, whether elder or challenge, pop-up events, or is it going to be in the hands of PvP? I've put out a few videos on different ideas I have for PvP experiences inside of Diablo Immortal. I think they're really good. We'll see if any of them actually make it to the game. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Many more to come, so make sure you stay tuned. And remember, guys, enjoy Diablo Immortal, at least what you can get of it right now. And when you can get it in your hands, you are going to be blown away. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow with another video. Until then, check out some of my other stuff and be good.